Hey, beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. All right, so I'm trying to rig some stuff today. We'll see how this works out. All right, so I do apologize for the awkward angle. Let's see if I can get this a little bit better. I think this is going to be as good as it gets. All right, so let's see. I didn't even ask a question yet. All right, so I guess I'll do Leo. <laughs> All right, Leo, we have resilience, okay? No matter what, we are resilient, okay? Mm. Even in the dry season, the winter months, okay? We're getting through this. All right, let's see. Actually, look like you're getting through this unscathed, too. All right, so Leo, there's a need to have some caution here. Take precautions. All right, be careful. There could be some distractions here. All right, you may be gambling, taking a chance on something, okay? I don't know why. Well, I do know why because there's a rearview mirror here, okay? Um, you need to be careful here, Leo. Um, there may be a situation where you may find yourself looking in the rearview mirror, all right? Looking back at something from the past. And it may be causing distractions from you moving forward or um, for you or causing you to delay stepping into something else that's really solid. OK, so there is a need to pay attention and uh, not be tempted by something from the past. OK, Um Looks like there's an end of a phase coming here or that has happened. Let's see. What other messages do we have for Leo? All right, Leo. Don't get stuck in the past, sweetheart. Let's move on. We don't live there anymore. There's nothing left in the past for us, right? All right. I just want to make sure that this cards are upright. I haven't used this deck in about four months. Oh my God. I need to get another one because I have bought this deck out. All right, let's see what messages we have for Leo. Do apologize for the extra noise because doing this on my bucket. All right, and if you guys would please hit the like button for your girl, I greatly appreciate it. It helps with the algorithm, it helps the channel grow. And by the way, thank you, new subscribers. I appreciate you being here. All right, and it also lets me know that you would still like to receive uh, the readings for your zodiac sign, okay? All right, so Leo, uh, this is gonna be difficult. The trippy thing is, is that on the bottom of the deck, there you are, all right, the Knight of wands all right or maybe it could be somebody that you're dealing with give me messages for leo leo don't get don't stay stuck in the past sweetheart all right we got the lovers here so there's a decision that you need to make about a connection here wow and then we have the page of wands and then we have the page of swords here all right so leo you may be on a break from someone right now and uh Someone here may be thinking about, you know, sending some messages in or whatever. You may be watching this person and see what they're up to. Or somebody may be watching you while you're on this break. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to do a temperature check or whatever it is. But the passion for you, uh, you two, is still here. Yeah, but see, someone here is really pressed and stressed about this situation here. Absolutely. Somebody feels like, you know, you guys are soulmates. You may feel this way about this person. This person may feel this way about you. It's a possibility that both of you could be mirroring each other. Give me more messages for Leo, please, and thank you. Okay, so there was some conflict between you and this person. All right. And the world, okay? So it looks like a cycle has ended between you two because of some disagreements here. All right, you two may have split up, gone your separate ways, but it kind of seems like somebody is still thinking about this, okay? Um, reminiscing what happened, rehashing the conversations or whatever it is here. Someone here is trying to make a logical decision here if they should restart this. Oh, what is this? 
Leo, is this you? Let's see. Oh, crap. All right, so we have the Fool in Reverse. Okay, so what's going on here? See, that's why this ended. This is why this ended in the first place. Somebody here was being sneaky, shady, just all over the place, manipulative, foolish behavior here, just reckless all over the place here. And Leo, you may have peeped game with this person here, all right? Um, somebody here is shady as hell. I have to say that, you know, breadcrumb in here. So it looks like you decided to go ahead and either tell this person about themselves or, you know what, just close the door, slam it shut, lock it, super glue it shut, whatever you got to do, devil dead bolt it and move on. And by you moving on from the situation, sweetheart, it looks like a lot of doors are opening up for you. A lot of reward, a lot of recognition happening here. And it looks like you might be in, uh, entering into a successful new relationship here. Moving into calmer waters over all in all. All right. Yeah. Kind of seems like this judgment call that you made here was the best thing for you. Okay. You got tired of this person being manipulative, holding back, breadcrumbing, um, blame shifting. You know, for, you know, they blame you for their behaviors or shortcomings or whatever, for them not showing up or whatever. And this person is literally a distraction in your life, sweetheart. So no matter what, you know, either with this person or without this person, you are a survivor. You will move on, okay? But like I said, just be mindful of looking back in the rear view mirror on this situation, okay? Because you're dealing with somebody that's very selfish, only wants things their way, and this person is not willing to compromise. So what's the point? What's the point of dealing with someone like this that is just going to come in and seal and take whatever it is that you have to offer and then go go? So might as well do you, right? All right, so let's see. Give me messages here for this situation. I think I saw a two of wands wanted to pop out here. Yeah, you might be dealing with someone here who is a bit of a dictator. Your intuition is telling you to walk away from this situation. Focus on your stability here. The queen of coins. You know that you have a lot to offer here. But instead of offering your coins to anybody else, you stop stockpiling them on your own. You understand? Focusing on you right about now. Leo, it kind of looks like you were dealing with somebody that you did have a lot of love for, but you had to pull this back and take control over this situation. Look at this. You may feel that you two are divine counterparts here, okay? But someone does not recognize you as their soulmate, so they are, they're acting like they don't care. So if that's the case, if they want to act like they don't care about you, you're going to remove yourself so, you know, you don't have to deal with this heartache, this disappointment here. Taking control over this situation, pulling your energy back from this, and elevation is happening for you. Manifesting the things that you want in your life. Focusing on you, loving on you, nurturing you, okay? So, it is what it is. All right, I don't have room for one more, but I need one more. Let's see. All right, we got the Three of Cups here. Someone here is in deep regret. With the Four of Cups here, they may feel like this is a missed opportunity here. It does look like there was a lot of happiness, joy between you two when things were good. But someone here wanted their cake and eat it too. So it's like, you know what? You can't have me and this and this and this and this and this too. It's either we're doing this or either we're not. So deuces. You head out of here. Absolutely. This is a stalemate, not going anywhere. Someone is indecisive. Whatever the situation is, you're not wasting your time on this situation anymore, okay? This person may have had you in your head for a while, you know, kind of stressed out, worried. What the hell? Am I giving to this situation? Should I give to this situation? You understand? It kind of seems like you were dealing with somebody that's all over the place. And it kind of reminds me of that, that balloon that's in front of the store. The one that flops all over the place. You understand? I'm in it. No, I'm not. I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. So with this person having this energy here, sweetheart, it kind of made you off balance. You just as off balance as this person. Leo, we are a fixed sign. We know what we want. We go after what we want. And that's it. 
period. There is no second guessing. There is no going back and forth. Well, I don't know and all this other stuff. Either we're doing this or we're not. All right. So you're dealing with somebody who is fickle, very immature and just all over the damn place like that the balloon in front of the store so therefore you're going to let this person flop back and forth and do what they need to do on their own and you're going somewhere else okay but it does look like someone here feels like this was a missed opportunity it didn't go anywhere even though there was a lot of happiness celebration here somebody is thinking about um you know rekindling this reuniting hmm Leo, this could be you, this could be the person, and here we have the Four of Cups again, but somebody's hands are tied here. Somebody's hands are tied, they're not able to approach you, you're not able to approach this person, possibly fear, insecurities, or whatever, I don't know what it is, maybe somebody is just holding back, period, but there's a lot of, a lot of being in your head here, or this person is, okay, let's see. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. It got hot up in here. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for this situation? I wish I had some sage up in here. I need to buy me some of those little sprays that everybody uses. Because, yeah, this was not the energy that I thought was going to come out. All right, so let's see. Let's clarify... What I should have done is just clarified all of these. I don't know if this is going to work. All right. So, let's see. Clarify the lovers. The Leo, please. All right. So, we got the lovers. The star. Okay. So, this would have been a wish fulfillment if everybody was on the same plane. But you found out the truth about this person, about their connection, about what they wanted with you here, okay? Um, oof. Leo, this is a trip because what, it kind of looks like this is taking a turn. Oh, that's why you're being told to be cautious. Somebody wants to heal the situation. Somebody wants to tell you the truth. Ooh, an empress in reverse. Ooh, wee, this is not good. Mm. Okay, the empress reverse with the five of swords, with the knight of swords. So there were some harsh words. Ooh, there were some harsh words between you and this person. Give me one more on the Empress in Reverse. Somebody could have already been in a family setting. Hold on. Shit. Someone here... Jesus Christ, what is this? Someone here could have already had a family here, and this person oof, was with someone that they were not happy with. There's possibly a lot of fighting, arguing in this situation. Um, someone here may have been dipping out on their spouse, not looking for anything serious because they're still connected here. And this person wasn't showing up in the relationship because they couldn't. They have a whole family here. But acting single. Because they're with someone that they don't see as an empress. They may have children by this person. But they're not happy with this person. So somebody here is stepping out on their relationship here. On this marriage. On this relationship. I don't know if they're married. Because they are not fulfilled here. They feel stuck in this situation. Hands tied. Tied together because of possibly children. A family dynamic here. Ooh. Yeah. With the page of wands, somebody is creeping on their person. 
All right, so Leo, what I see here is that you may have been dealing with someone unbeknownst to you that this person was already in a connection, a marriage with children here. All right, you're wondering why this person isn't showing up for you and it's because they can't. They can't commit to you because they're committed somewhere else, so to speak. This could be because of finances. This could be, excuse me. This could be because they have small children in the home, and this person does not want to separate the home. Um, possibly because they may have a partner that is very vindictive. So, in other words, if this person was to leave that relationship, the empress in reverse would not let them see their child or something like that, or. They would hold finances or something over their head here. All right. So not only are they having conflict in that relationship, it's causing conflict in the relationship with you and this person. It kind of seems like to me that if it wasn't for this other connection here, you would be the ideal person for this, this, uh, this person that you're dealing with here or the person that you're no longer with. This is crazy. This person shows up as a control freak, uh, control freak though. I don't, I don't like that. Where is the fool in reverse? This person can't come towards you. Mm. What they can do is they can flirt. They can give you a couple of hours at a time, but they can't commit. Yeah, see? This person is very slow to if anything ever to get anything serious but they want your attention definitely like your attention but after the attention is is gone you know after they get what they want that gratification they're out leave you out on the cold mm. literally because they can't do anything long term so this person might have a bunch of how can I say? I don't want to say concubines, but conquest. All right. A bunch of people that they, they chill with. Um, but over time, when people realize that, you know, this person is just coming to get the wand, the wop, whatever it is, they may back off of this person because what else are you bringing to the table? That's all you can give? That's, that's all you're worth? You understand there's nothing else behind this shell of a body besides that, you know? So people may get tired of this person and then just throw them to the wayside because they're coming in as trash. So nobody gets to see the real value of this person because they, they can't they can't give fully. They're already committed somewhere else. So I think you're realizing this about this person. Um may have, you know, may have heard a little bit, you know, about this person or whatever, but it's not stopping you from having your ten of cups, okay? So it looks like you brought this tower down with this person. Um, yeah, because pretty much what it is now is that, Leo, if this person isn't coming back to you now, you may have uh, blocked this person out of your life, brought this tower down, because this person is a distraction. They are someone that you need to be cautious with, okay? This person is a gamble, all right? In order to deal with this person, you would have to be, you know, like it says, resilient. You would have to be one to hang in there. You understand? Deal with all the drama, the BS, the lies, the shadiness, or whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. You understand? Instead of this person being a grown adult, figuring this situation out with their person, there's always court, you understand, for custody and things like that. This person would rather drag along multiple people behind them in their BS. You understand what I'm saying? So, Leo, uh kind of feel like, you know what, life is too short for this situation. You're not dragging yourself up in this situation, trying to get caught up in any type of third-party situations or whatever. So, you're going to let this low vibrational energy go. And let this person do what they need to do for themselves, okay? Life is too short. Period. Alright? So, let's see. Leaving this person out in the cold. It is what it is. Because this person is um, subtracting from your life and not adding anything to it. Absolutely. Okay? Your intuition is telling you to put some boundaries up with this person, okay? This person stresses you the hell out. Even though you might not say anything... This person is a burden, and I guess, you know, you might have liked this person at first, but then when you start dealing with this person, it's like, my God, really? Really? I'm, I'm going to get nothing but just disappointment. 
and very little offerings you understand by dealing with you so your intuition is telling you you know what go ghost go quiet on this person you might not have ghosted this person but just f it it is what it is out of sight out of mind that's my thing out of sight out of mind if i ain't gotta look at you talk to you see you or whatever i will forget about you real quick you understand so there's that um your intuition is telling you to shut this person off because they are nothing but disappointment and heartbreak okay you're gonna end up wounded hurt trying to heal here so you're following your intuition so it says cut it off cut it off all right <laughs> let it go let somebody else deal with that headache okay we want grown folks communication relationships up in this house okay and if it's not happening you gotta go and close the door behind you please all right queen of coins here let's see and i don't mean to be i'm sorry but Y'all that's been on my channel, um, but for the almost two years I've been here, hit and miss or whatever it is, you already know I, I give it to you straight, no chaser. I'm a Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, so ain't no telling how it may come out. Straight, no chaser. It is what it is. Like I said, dealing with this person is keeping you stuck, stagnant, not moving on. This person that you're dealing with is stuck, stagnant, not moving on. But they seem to um, mask that by dealing, distracting themselves with, you know, frivolous connections or whatever it is. You understand? Biding their time until these kids turn 18. Oh, my God. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, but you're not you're not um, staying stuck with this person. Moving on, taking action, leaving this player, this child, this man child, this woman child, problem child out in the cold where they need to be, okay? Put them on the front porch with Fido. Absolutely. You may have this person watching you, okay? But there's definitely lessons learned about this situation. And so it's just telling you, baby girl, Girl, baby boy I got something brand new for you something stable something that you don't have to guess you don't have to share you understand it has your name all over it open up your hands and receive it but in order to open up your hands you got to release what you're holding on to so let it go let it go okay all right so no longer stand stuck and stagnant stuck on somebody else that you know there's no movement so moving on all right, what's going on with this five of cups here? I feel kind of mean in this reading. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm not. All right, absolutely. All right, somebody feels like this was a missed opportunity, but you know what? Life goes on, unfortunately, without you, okay? So it is what it is. You're moving on to karma waters, looking for better things, making sure that you got your boundaries up and things like that, well protected by source and by yourself as well. You're being very vigilant so that you don't allow somebody else to come in your life with this energy again. You understand? You may be attracted to this person. You may have been patient with this person, but the hell with that. Life goes on without you. Moving forward, you may be traveling here. Um... All these other things, you know what I'm saying? You literally could be moving away from this person, putting distance between you and this person as well, okay? And starting fresh, planting new seeds, okay? New area, new fertile ground, transformation, all right? After an ending, change and transformation. You might have noticed that things in your life started looking up, absolutely. Your money started rolling back in, you understand? Your business started doing better. You looking good, smelling good. You attracting better people in your life and things like that, you understand? Sometimes when you attach yourself to a negative energy, that person's karma, that energy, whatever it is, I don't know, whatever it is, but they pour a cup of it on you, sweetheart, and it will keep you stuck and stagnant, okay? So it's time to move on. Close this cycle out. I wish you well, but deuces, all right? So let's see. What is this three of cups? Looks like you got a lot of happiness, celebration. You're working on this here, all right? I got to tell you, but somebody wants to reconcile, sweetheart. They want to put in the work. What did I just tell you? The four of cups. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not the Four of Cups. The Three of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles with Judgment. This person wants to come back and they want to put in effort. They've been watching you, okay? They've been thinking about this situation. Maybe it's this person with the Nine of, of, of uh, Wands here. Somebody that's really feeling some type of way. But looking back, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I wish I hadn't have done that. I don't know. 
Now they may be waiting for an opportunity to come near you, all right? But see, this person is kind of thinking about this situation. Damn, how do I reapproach Leo after all everything that I done did? You understand? They want to put an end to all this drama and things like this. I don't know. Maybe this person split up with this other person. I don't know. But family is emphasis on the bottom, right? This person is considering this. Am I happy here? Are my kids happy with me being here with this person? I don't know. But like I said, you know, I'm going to put it like this. Leo, baby, this is this person's problem and we are about to let them have it. Leo has exited the building. Stage left, right? Whichever crack crevice or whatever the hell we need to do to get on up out of this situation, deuces. Love you, but gotta go. All right? Love you, mean it. So, Leo, yeah. See you doing what's best for you, baby. Keep doing you. That's all I can say. But anyway, I'll holla. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>